Magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a mystery unboxing for you. We of course have the Wizarding Trunk unboxing. I am super excited to get this box opened. This is my first one as an official rep for the Wizarding Trunk as well. So like just beaming with excitement and pride and happiness. It's just, yeah, I'm just so, so stoked to be unboxing this box right now. I do of course have a discount code for you to use so you can get yourself some money off your very first subscription and anything in the store that the Wizarding Trunk sells separately from the boxes. So the code of course is Kaylee 10 you can go ahead and use that one and yeah let's get unboxing don't forget if you are new and you haven't done already to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and to the notification bells on as well to be notified every time i upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media a big big shout out to my patrons you guys are amazing and if you are interested in joining us on patreon the link is in the description down below you can go and check it out Okay, so the Wizarding Trunk, I believe this is the Wizarding Shops box. So I'm hoping for things along sort of Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, that kind of theme going on. I'm very, very excited and very, very intrigued. So as always, I will give you guys the very first sneak peek. Oh, there we go. Can we see lots of goodies inside? The box is quite heavy, so I'm very excited to see. Right, the first thing I'm seeing on top is a Spy Spectres reveals invisible magical pests. Wizard Shines Joke Shop. Okay, so it's an advertisement for some Spectrus bags. So that's very, very cool. I quite like that. Very unique. Never seen anything like that before. Something that is jumping out at me is this box here. And quite coincidentally, it actually does say jumping jelly beans on the packaging. Look at this. This looks so cute. We've got actual jelly beans inside here. It says jumping jelly beans, Bailey Wicks Magical Sweets. Jumping jelly beans. We've actually got a packet of sort of Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans. How cool are they? I absolutely love the packaging. It looks quite vintage and like older sort of Wizarding World style. I really, really love the packaging. There's actual sweets in here as well. It's even got all the nutritional facts on the back as well. So you can double check for any allergies, of course calories, which I'm really trying to control right now. So yeah, these are very, very cool. I really, really like those. Definitely something you need when you pop to the shops is some magical sweets. Always a must. Right, in the middle of this box, I'm seeing a little brown box and I want to have a little look what is inside this. Okay, so in here, looks like we have a potion bottle. We do indeed. This is cool, let's have a little look. Okay, we have a really gorgeous bottle of Amortensia Love Potion. How pretty is that? This says Amor Enternum Love Potion and on the back it says Beautifully Bewitched Love and Beauty Potions. This is really cute. I really love the like liquid inside. It's that kind of swirly mystical liquid. We've got a really pretty little love heart wax seal stamp on the top there as well and some pink twine. This is really, really sweet. I think this is gonna look gorgeous on my potion shelf. Let's have a little look what's next. Oh, okay, we have a key. Is this a Gringotts key? I think it might be, you know. This is really, really cool as well. Oh my God. Okay, right. Okay, so in this little package. Oh, we've even got a vault number little tag. This is really sweet. So this is the key itself. So you can see it's like a silver key and it's got a really big embossed G on the front there as well. And then we have vault number 688 on a little tag on the side of the key as well. This is a really, really pretty key. I really like it. It's really, really detailed. I think it's a really, really nice size. It looks like it would be like a perfect size for a vault key in Gringotts. I think this is a really lovely item. Oh my God, no way. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting this. Oh my God, I've just spotted something and oh my God, I'm actually freaking out. Are you kidding me right now? No actual way. My God, we got Spectra Specs. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, these are the coolest things I've ever seen. I don't own Spectra Specs, you guys. I'm so excited right now. They look funky, let's be fair. I'm I'm giving off vibes right now. <laughs> I think these are so cool. Oh my gosh. They're not like the typical pink ones that you see Luna wearing in the movies. They're kind of like this deep purple, if not maybe navy blue kind of color. But I am totally digging these. These are absolutely amazing, glorious, beautiful. I'm so excited about these. I really, really am. I can't believe it. Tempted to wear these for the rest of the video, but you might need to see my face a little bit more. So I might have to take them off for now, but these are literally like the coolest things ever. So I'm gonna pop them to one side and bask in their glory because, oh my God, we just got Spectra Specs. 
let's see what else is in this box. Okay, so I'm digging through some of the wiggly beams and I'm finding a pin. Okay, again, I've always seen the back of these pins. They are always very, very careful to put their pins in face down. So you don't get a spoiler. So you can kind of like have a little extra anticipation with your pin. So that's the back of the pin card. Let's have a little look at the actual pin. Ah, oh, this is really pretty. This is like a Madame Malkin's Wizarding Robes for All Occasions. But this says Worldly Wizarding Wears. So this is a really, really cool pin. I really like the color of this. It's like a really deep purple and it's got some gold detailing on here as well. We've got like a sun or a moon and then we've got some scissors in the middle as well. This is a really, really pretty pin. I really do like that. I think that's really gorgeous. Oop, okay, right. I found the print to be. So let's have a look at this book cover. I'm assuming it's a book cover anyways. Normally it is, but you never know. We might be surprised one day. So you never know. Let's have a little look at what this design is. Ooh. Oh my god. Yes, this is so cool. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, so we have a Dwelling with Dragons book cover. Look at the gold foiling on this. Are you kidding me? Look at the back as well. All that gold foiling. This kind of looks like Gilderoy Locker. I don't think it is though. I think this must be someone else. I'm not 100% sure who that is. I feel really bad not knowing. But Obviously, it's supposed to be Gilderoy Lockhart. That is just absolutely brilliant. There's a little spark of, like, shine on his teeth as well. Because, you know, he's got the most charming smile in the whole of the wizarding world, of course. And then on the back, it says, Everyone's favourite wizard extraordinaire is back yet again to enchant and dazzle us with his latest account of heroic ventures alongside the most dangerous creatures on Earth. An instant bewitching bestseller from Warlock Talk. A spellbinding triumph from the enchanter. This is absolutely beautiful. Like, I actually can't get over it. It's so beautiful. The spine as well is really, really gorgeous. It's like this dragon hide kind of spine with this gold foiling on top. I quite like the insides as well. Like this bit kind of reminds me of those pictures like they used to make when you were kids. You get like water and like oil-based paints and then dip paper into the oil and then it would print off onto the paper. That kind of reminds me of that. That's really, really cool. So yeah, I don't know which book this is supposed to cover. I'm never very good at these and I don't own any of the American style books so I need to start investing in some of the American books so I can actually get full use out of these because at the minute they're kind of just on my shelf being displayed but I want to put them on books so I need to buy the American versions of these books so that is the next thing on the agenda. Ooh, I've just knocked something which is another bottle. What's this? This is... Ooh, the Bestiarium's Rat Tonic. So this is the Rat Tonic that Ron would have purchased from the Eplops Magical Emporium just before Crookshanks like jumps on Scabbers for the first time. So obviously like in that movie, Scabbers is starting to look a bit sort of thin and like a bit grossed out because obviously Peter Pettigrew is like wetting himself that Sirius Black has just escaped from Azkaban. But yeah, this is the rat tonic that the seller gives to Ron to help Scabbers get better. So this is really, really cool. I really like this as well. But this is actually, I think, yeah, it is. It's actually a usable item. So this is intended for use on minor rashes, cuts and abrasions, a product of alchemy for the skin. That's really, really cool. So in the ingredients here, it says aloe, vitamin E and orange blossom oil. This is really, really cool. I quite like this as well. As a mother of two boys that are bonkers, I'm going to say... I'm gonna need this. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my god, the oranges, you can smell. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. You almost want to eat it, but please don't. That's not good advice at all. This smells amazing. It's really, really cool. A really nice displayable item as well as an actual usable product. I think this is really, really awesome. Diggy, diggy, dig. And I've got two boxes, one of which is quite heavy, the other one a little bit lighter, but very intrigued on both. And then we have a notebook maybe this is the scriptorium quality quills impeccable inks so this is obviously a stationary product this is really gorgeous as well we've also got gold foiling on here as well as on the back we've got this like room design on the back we've got a purple bit of ribbon hanging out here which is obviously to help you keep your page and then inside it looks like we have both lined and non-lined paper so on here we've got blank side and then on this side then we've got some lined bits as well which is really cool actually i've never seen a notebook do both so that's really unique, really, really funky. I really like that idea. Yeah, it looks like parchment paper. It looks like something you would definitely pick up in the Wizarding World. I love the design on both the front and the back. I think this is a really, really lovely notebook. Definitely going to be getting some use on that one. I will move on to the boxes in just a moment, but I'm going to go through some of the paper items that are in the bottom. So the first item we have here is a flesh-eating slug 
and a familiars page from the Magical Creatures A to Z book, which we will be getting an item to put these into in the next box, I do believe. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm accurate on that. I think it's the next box now that we get, we get like a folder or a book to slot these inside. So like I said, this one is on flesh eating slugs. It has all the information there that you might need to know about those. And then on the other side, we have familiars. So we can see a picture here of a cat, a rat and a toad as well, and some information about those. Yeah, I think I've said all I need to say about these kind of things beforehand. I think these are really, really funky ideas. The fact that we're going to be getting something to pop them into as well to make them feel really authentic. I love the fact that the sides of the page make it look like it really has been torn out of a book. I think these are really useful if you want a little bit more about some of the magical creatures and if you just want to display them as well. I mean, you can definitely pop these into a frame and then you can actually have them displayed. So I think these are really, really lovely. Ooh, we have a postcard item. So we've got a magical pets print and then we can see here we've got a hippogriff we've got an owl a rat a very grumpy looking crookshanks cat and a toad and there is also evidence there maybe of a dragon definitely looks like a dragon tail kind of thing going on there and it says for the slime lovers what about a 70 foot snake oh it is a snake apparently snake with a very forked end it also has on the bottom warning hippogriffs are not indoor pets buy with caution that's really really sweet i like that and then the detail on the back as well shows that it's like a postcard so this looks like something that you'd be able to get in the wizarding world and this would be like the kind of print ooh, upside down this would be the kind of print that you would get on your postcard this is really sweet right are you the cheat sheet no okay this looks to me ah okay this is ezekiel's quality ones this could be a like catalog i suppose for ones it says exceptional ones made with only the finest quality woods and superior cores since 1756 and then inside we have loads of details about different kinds of ones this is really cool as well this is really interesting actually i've never seen anything like this before so each page has different kinds of ones it has all the information about the wand so you can kind of like look through all the different ones before you go wand shopping and sort of pre-choose your wand that's quite an interesting idea although the wand does choose the wizard so technically speaking this may be redundant but the theory is there. You could technically go and say, you know what, I really like the look of that wand in the catalogue. Could I please see that wand? It may or may not fit, but if it does, bargain. Happy days. Yeah, this is a really, really fun item as well. I think some of the wands in here are really interesting. The different designs and stuff, the different cores. Yeah, this is a really, really funky item. Be careful now because the cheat sheet is imminent and I don't know which one it is. Okay, that's the cheat sheet. Leave you to one side. Okay, so we have another print here. This is a really big square-sized one. This is really cool. So this is obviously some Wizarding World shop. So this is not Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade or anything specific to that. Obviously, it's just like a more generic Wizarding World shop, but it's really, really beautiful. I love the artwork. So we've got Flora and Granum. I'm assuming this is like a Herbology kind of store. And then we've got Clean Sweets Brooms. Love that. And then we've got Bestiarium's Magical Beasts. And then we've got some signage here as well for wands and broomsticks kind of pointing in different directions. And then we've got a really beautiful snowy owl up here flying through the sky. This is a really lovely print, actually. I'm quite impressed with this one. It's something that's really unique. It's not Harry Potter specific. So you don't have to be like a big Harry Potter fan to appreciate this. Just maybe more of a witchy kind of person. This is a really lovely print. I really like that. Okay, that is everything from the box, except for the two mystery boxes that we had earlier on. I'm going to go for the slightly bigger but lighter one first. Let's see what this is. Okay, we have styrofoam. Good things come in styrofoam. Let's have a look. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God, look at that. We've got a stack of cauldrons. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this. Sorry, I keep putting my elbow on wiggly worms and it hurts. But look how pretty. Oh my God. What a fun idea. I would have never thought about this at all. This is absolutely brilliant. You can definitely see these kind of things in Diagon Alley when you're watching the movies, like the loser stacks of like cauldrons and stuff. This is such a beautiful, beautiful replica. I absolutely love that. I love the colour as well. The fact that it's not just plain black. It's kind of got this blue and silver tinge to it. I think this is beautiful. Oh my God. Which shelf am I going to display this on? I don't know, but it's gorgeous. And I cannot wait to display that. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. I might have to put that on my potion shelf, actually. I think that would look beautiful there. So we are down to our last parcel. Okay, so we are down to our last box. Let's have a look at what is inside this. Oh, okay. We have a squirty pot. This is intriguing me. What are we? Let's see. Ooh, okay. Ooh, 
Oh, okay. So this empty. I was wondering because I, I didn't see a lid for this, but obviously I know we have this. But this says Pure Blood Apothecary All Purpose Magical Mesh Remover Hand Soap. It's a soap dispenser. No way, you guys. This is like crazy. This is so cute. I absolutely love this. What an amazing item. This is so cute. You know what? I was actually thinking the other day I wanted to get like a soap dispenser because I see a lot of these videos on like TikTok of all these people filling up all these like soap dispensers and like containers and things. And I always think it looks so tidy and organized. I really wish my house was a little bit more like that. But this is so cool. You pop that in there. Then obviously you can fill it up with the soap of your choice. Pop this inside. Okay, I don't know if this is a design flaw or if it's me being completely simple, but I can't quite get the lid to shut. Let's try it this way. Ah, aha, 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 I've got it. <laughs> okay, it was definitely being really simple. There we go. So I put it on the wrong way now because I was struggling with it because I'm a bit daft. But then you've got your little soap dispenser. How cute is that? This is absolutely gorgeous. Oop. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right, so it's the right way around now. We've got our hand soap dispenser from Pure Blood Apothecary, an all-purpose magical mess remover. I think this is a really fun idea. Again, something that you can use, something that you can display. This is just really, really funky. I really like this as well. You guys, like this box is insane. I'm not even kidding. Like it's actually ridiculous how cool this box was. Right, I'm gonna go through the cheat sheet very quickly with you guys. This one has been made up to look like the Vile Incantium Potions and Cursed Curiosities, like a poster for it. That's really, really cool. Okay, so the first item on our list was the Dwelling with Dragons book cover. This new book has just been released by everyone's favorite wizard, designed by Wizardry Workshop and fits the magical sports book, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Okay, so that would probably be Quidditch through the ages, I'm assuming. I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that would be the book because the last book was for Beedle the Bard. So I'm pretty sure that would be right. I think, we'll double check. Then we have the Scriptorium Journal, a journal from the Parchment, Quill and Ink Shop designed by Wizardry Workshop, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Then we have the M&M Shop Sign Pin. Visit this shop for all of your worldly wizarding ways. This pin was designed for us by JP Mistlecrow, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Love that pin. I think it's a really, really beautiful design. Uh, then we had the Jumping Jelly Beans. Magical jelly beans spelled to not bounce about after the packaging is opened. A backdrop is included to pull forward for display once you've finished using the candy. That's so cool. So inside this box, there's going to be, let me see. I don't want to damage the packaging in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to be careful. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So inside, we've got like this backing card that you can put in once the sweets have all been eaten. But then it still looks like it's a full packet. That's amazing. That's a really, really lovely touch. Something I never would have thought of. Brilliant. Absolute genius. I'm not going to get that back in now though. <laughs> to have a fiddle with that in a minute. Uh, then we had the wand shop catalog. It features a variety of wands available at Ezekiel's. The wand of Willow looks like an excellent choice. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and includes illustrations by JP Missocro and Emily Walsh. Uh, then we had the Amor Eternum Love Potion. This eternal love potion is brewed to create what can only be described as true love. For long-term effects, one teaspoon should be taken weekly. If a dose is missed, the effects will slowly dissipate. This is part of our new Beautifully Bewitched line of love and beauty potion products. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary and designed by the Wizardry Workshop. Ah, uh, then we had the rat tonic. This was such a cool, cool item. So, is your pet rat under the weather? Try our rat tonic. Also designed for use on wizards and witches, simply applied to rashes, minor cuts and abrasions. Created by Alchemy for the Skin, label designed by Wizardry Workshop. That is such a cool, really useful product. I really like that. Ooh, then we had the vault key. Bring this key with you when you visit your vault designed by JP Mistlecrow, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Beautifully designed key, really, really impressed with that as well. Uh, the stack of vintage cauldrons, a range of cauldrons magically shrunken for easy transport. This is stunning. Like, no words can describe how pleased I am with this item alone. I think this is such a cool item. Really, really pleased with that. Then we had the Flesh Eating Slugs and Familiars Creature page. This page torn out of magical creatures A to Z will come in handy if your magical garden is infested with flesh eating slugs. Created by Wizardry Workshop, an item to store all these loose pages you've collected will be in the next Wizarding Trunk box. I did think that would be the case. So there we are. Confirmation that the next box will have something to be able to put all these items inside of. This item will likely only be available in the Forest and Grounds box. So if you're not subscribed to get the next box and you want that item to put all these in, then you need to be subscribed to that box because it's very unlikely that you'll be able to get that item in store later on. And you don't want to miss out on it. You definitely don't. Don't forget to use code Kaylee10 as well for a cheeky little bit of money off that as well. Shameless plug. I know. I'm sorry. 
Then we had these spy spectres. Okay, this this was like need I say more? I'm not even kidding. This pair of magical glasses can help you see invisible mischief makers of all sorts. These were designed for us by Twillings and Tattings. Well, Twillings and Tattings, you've made a very happy witch here. I'm absolutely overjoyed, thrilled with these. I think these are so funky. I love that they're slightly different to the ones that you see in the film on Luna as well. I think that's a really, really nice idea. And yeah, these are just fabulous. Like, what can I say? Then we had the Magical Shops storefront. So that was the, ooh, the print that we had earlier on, designed for us by JP Missilecro. This print shows some of the new wizarding shops open in, in the alley. That's very nice as well. So it is technically supposed to be like Diagon Alley, but it's in like new stores that are coming soon. Very, very nice. I very much like that. And then we had the Magical Pet Store postcard. This postcard can be sent via owl to any witch or wizard of your choice, created for us by JP Missilecro, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And the last but not least item was the Magical Mess Remover. This bottle of Magical Mess Remover was created for us by Pure Blood Apothecary. Fill it with your favourite brand of hand soap to ensure that your hands are mess free. Designed for us by JP Missilecro. This is beautiful. I'm not putting this into my family bathroom because I've got two bathrooms I've got mine and my husband's bathroom which is like an ensuite bathroom and then I've got my family bathroom this is not going in the family bathroom my children will get their hands on this and it won't stay pretty for very long so this is definitely coming upstairs to my bathroom for me I think this is a really really fun item really different really unique yeah I'm very very pleased with that and that was everything. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items in this box I'm absolutely blown away. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm just so impressed by these boxes. Every single time I get one, it just fills me with magical joy. And I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm genuinely really, really excited by these boxes. Least favourite items and favourite items. I'm going to have to go through these now, will I? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like choosing because it's not fair to the ones that I don't choose. I mean, I think you can guess one favourite. It's definitely going to be the Spectra Specs. This was just an absolutely amazing idea. Amazing item to put in one of these boxes. I'm so, so thrilled now that I finally have a pair of Spectra Specs. I don't have any at the moment. So, like, these are just absolutely filling me with joy right now. I also really, really loved the miniature cauldrons as well. I think this is a really beautiful little replica and display item. I even really like the Amortensia Potion Bottle. I have a lot of these. I'm not even kidding you. I have a fair few. Sorry, I keep forgetting I have them on my face. I have a fair few Amortensia Love Potions on my shelf currently from different subscription boxes and even one that I made myself. So sometimes if I get things like this, I'm not all that fussed about it because I have so many already. But because it's like a different take and because it's not Amortensia, it's Amortunum. It just feels like it's different to me. I think that's a really, really fun thing. This is a really fun idea as well. And the fact that it's got the little pulley out bit as well. I think that's really genius. So yeah. Oh my God. I have to pick a favourite, don't I? Okay, joint favourites, okay? I can't I can't pick everything. It's not allowed, okay? It's cheating. So my joint favourites are these two items, okay? These ones definitely filled me with a lot of magical joy. Really, really impressed. Really unique. I'm just living for them. If I had to choose a least favourite... Oh my god, this is not fair. Okay, least favourite would probably be this. Not because it's a bad thing, I think it's actually really, really cool. And I think it's definitely something I want to display as well. Because I think this is actually something that you may even find in the Wizarding World. But I just think the concept of choosing your wand when the wand is supposed to choose you. Just has me a little bit like, hmm. You know what I mean? Hmm. The wand chooses the wizard. Not the wizard choosing the wand. But it's nice that we get to choose. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm blathering. Ignore me. I am, yeah, I am so impressed with this box, you guys. I absolutely loved it. But of course, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this unboxing and all the items that we got inside. I'm really, really interested to see what you guys think. Don't forget as well, if you do want to get your hands on your very own Wizarding Trunk box to use code Kaylee10, you get 10% off your first box and any items that are in the store. So definitely, definitely use that if you are going to go ahead and purchase anything. I'm just blown away. I really am. I can't stop beaming at the items that are on my desk right now. I'm just looking around and like, oh my God. So, so cool. I'm really, really happy. But yeah, definitely, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave me a magical thumbs up so that I know. And don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and to the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And you can see me very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys. I'm wearing these for the rest of my life.